I want to uh, talk to Supervisors Peter just one more time because um, a lot of people, of course, have been displaced because of this fire. We've seen so many homes have have already burned. A lot of people. This is Kern County. I mean, everyone sure. wants to help each other, uh, but we also want to make sure that they're doing it in an effective way. How can people in Bakersfield, other parts of the county, help those impacted by the Burrell fire? Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, the Kern County really is the most generous community uh, out there, I think. And I know there's a lot of people that are super eager, uh, waiting for an opportunity to help out. And, uh, people have big hearts out there. But right now, I think our, our main focus just needs to be on getting the fire out, getting people to safety. Uh, there's going to be a lot of opportunities down the road as, uh, as the community tries to rebuild. But fortunately, uh, the shelters... Um, you know, everybody that's providing those services, they have what they need uh, right now in the short term. So really, I think long term is going to be the opportunity where people can step in and uh, make an impact with donations and, uh, uh, you know, be that clothing, food, uh, financial, whatever it is. And really quick, uh, Andrew, I got to ask you because I keep I, I keep seeing you look around and, and you just said it just is eerily quiet right now. What what does that mean to you as a firefighter? And also, we know that you know things can change later on this afternoon. Well, it's one of those things we've seen day after day of this thing, just producing a column that can be seen from across Kern County. And so, when you wake up on a morning like this, and it's cooler and it's calm, you, you don't you don't want to trust it because you've seen such extreme fire behavior. You don't want to get your hopes up, yeah. but it looks. Like it's going to give us an opportunity even today that it hasn't been giving us in the last several days. Of course, you know, this is just for me as a single firefighter. I'm not fire behavior analysis. I'm not a weather person. But looking at what I see this morning gives me hope that we're going to be able to engage in this even more so than what we've been doing. We have had so many helicopters, so many air tankers dropping water, dozers holding a line behind bodfish all night last night. It's just been amazing what the firefighters have been doing. Every last firefighter from the Kern County Fire Department was recalled back to work. We have everyone coming from around the state to come help us. And if we can just get the weather to cooperate now, too, that would be tremendous. All right, Captain Andrew Freeborn, thanks so much. Supervisor, uh, Supervisor Peters, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, but of